Welcome back guys. We are going to do an example on sedimentation rate. A powder has a density of 1.3 grams per centimeter cube. Okay. And an average particle diameter of 2.5 micrometers. So according to Stokes equation this powder will settle in water. So the viscosity of the water is 1 centimeter poise and the density is 1 gram per centimeter per cube okay so so this powder will settle in water at a rate of what so that is what we have to find out that's the V we are going to find out okay let's write step by step we know the formula V is equal to this so this is equal to D square times Rho S of Rho O times G or 18 times eta okay what is D? That is nothing but the diameter, right? Diameter of what? Diameter of particle. Okay. So the diameter of the particle is what here? 2.5 micrometers. 2.5 micrometers. So that is what? When I say micro, micro is 10 power minus 6, right? 10 power minus 6 meters. Here. So that is equal to 2.5 into 10 power minus 6 meters, right? But we know from the formula it's d square, right? So d square is equal to 2.5 into 10 power minus 6 meter whole square that gives us the value of the d square is equal to 25 25 say so 625 that is so 6.25 into 10 power 6 times 2 it's 12 it's negative 12 by the way so meter times square that is meter square so d is d square this is the value okay now from this formula what we have we already have d square value right well, we have d square value now what is the next thing that we need to find out it's the density of the particle so what is the density of the particle? This is 1.3 gram per centimeter cube. So let's double check one more one more time. It's what is the density of the particle? The density of the part the powder has a density. That means it's a density of the particle. It's 1.3 gram per centimeter cube, right? So it's 1.3 gram per centimeter cube. The density of the particle. Let's go down. Okay, and what is the other other thing we need? We have density of the particle. We need the density of the medium. Here the medium is they have used water. So what is the density of the water? It's one gram per centimeter cube. Okay. So the density of the water is one gram per centimeter cube. So all we need is we have to find out the difference, right? So look, take a look at this. We have to find out the difference. So that is density of the powder minus density of the water okay so that's the difference so let's find out the difference 1.3 minus 1 is equal to 0 0.3 gram per centimeter cube I can write as a centimeter cube like cc or I can write centimeter cube one and the same right okay this is in gram per centimeter cube but let's convert this into one units because we got the diameter in, in SI units meter square let's convert everything in SI units so let's convert 0 0.3 times gram per centimeter cube to kilograms so that is how much 10 10 to the power of minus 3 divided by 
10 to the power of minus 2 whole cube centimeter cube right so if you want to convert centimeter to meters how much is that 10 to the power of minus 2 because it's whole cube I had to square it up uh, I had to cube it up so like this because this is in grams if I want to convert this into kilograms how much is that it's 10 to the power of minus 3 right so that's what I did just now so let's let's do it further so it's 0 0.3 times 10 to the power of minus 3 over minus 2 times 3 is 10 to the power of minus 6 that is nothing but 10 power 0 0.3 times 10 power 3 because minus 3 and minus 6 so we are left with minus 3 right and what else we have so that is a 0 0.3 into 10 to the power of 3 kilogram per meter cube because it's kilogram here and this is meter meter cube right so let's write in this way 3 into 10 to the power of 2 kilogram per meter cube okay this is nothing but 300 right you are you are aware of that I know that so it's 10 to 300 kilogram per meter cube so now we have d square value that's 6.25 into 10 power minus 12 meter square we have difference in density that is 3 into 10 power 2 kilogram per meter cube and now what is the other value that we need we need g gravitational force you all know that g is 9.8 meters per so the gravitational force this is constant by the way gravitational force this is constant and next what is the value that we are looking for okay so let's get back to the formula we need eta i believe so this is a formula which we have okay so we are able to find out d square so we are able to find out d square density difference and the gravitational force and we are left with eta so what is the eta value so the eta is the viscosity eta is nothing but the viscosity what is the viscosity value that we have so this is the viscosity right viscosity is how much one centipoise one centipoise is nothing but 10 power minus 3 kilogram per meter per second so eta is one centipoise the eta is viscosity once again viscosity okay so eta is one centipoise that is nothing but 1 into 10 to the power of minus 3 kilogram per meter second second let's sum up everything so this is the formula which we have right so what is the d square value 6.25 into 10 to the power of minus 12 meters square right so let's take a look at that so it's 6.25 into 10 to the power of minus 12 meters square right and what is the density 3.2 3 times 10 to the power of 2 into kg per meter cube that's 3 into 10 to the power of 2 kg per excuse me kg per meter cube times gravitational force obviously we know it's 9.8 meter per second square divided by 18 times 1 centipoise is how much it's 1 into 10 to the power of minus 3 kg per meter per second so instead of writing per meter per second here I can write on top right because it's kg divided by meter per second so instead of writing here I'm going to write on top here so meter times second I can write here right all right let's cancel one by one now so kilogram and kilogram I can cancel it so meter square here and meter here together becomes meter cube right 
so meter cube I'm gonna cancel this meter cube with this meter cube okay so what we are left with we'll, there is a second here and here there is second square I'm gonna cancel second second with second square so I'm left with so the units that I'm left with is a meter and second so that is right so velocity we have units this call velocity is meter per second now let's multiply everything 6.25 10 to the power minus 12 10 to the power 2 9.8 everything let's do simple calculations now so 10 to the power minus 12 and 10 to the power of 2 so together how much is that if I cancel I will be left with 10 to the power of minus 10 here that is 10 to the power of minus 3 and minus 7 minus 10 so together if I cancel again I will be left with 10 to the power of minus 7 right so here 18 3 times 6 so now I'm left with how much 6.25 times 9.8 divided by 6 you calculate the total final value but this is the value that I'm getting 1.02 into 10 to the power of minus 6 meters per second this is the final value that I got and I hope you got the same value